Greetings and salutations, I'm Big Brother. I just went through one of the craziest sales I've ever been have, has taken place in a long time. Buyer contacted me wanting one thing out of a lot of four that I had for sale. It's a cephalopod fossil from the Cambrian period. Uh, it's basically just a fossilized squid. Uh, there was four in the lot, contacted me, said he just wanted one particular one. Uh, I don't mind doing that. I've done that in the past. If a buyer only wants one particular thing of something I have a lot of, I'll consider doing it. It depends on how much they're willing to pay for me to do that because, you know, that's taking a listing down and making two separate listings. Uh, that's my time. So, you know, they need to pay up. Uh, agreed. And then started asking me a whole lot of questions about things and there's a lot of back and forth. I I have it up there for twenty dollars a best offer. All four of these uh, fossils in the lot. I told the buyer that I had best offer on, and that if this person wanted, they could offer me. $10 for the entire lot and they would get all four fossils. They could keep the one they want and do what they wanted with the others. He comes back at me and says he just wants this one and he's willing to pay $15, $19. Now this to me doesn't make much sense. He only wants that one. Didn't want the other three. I'm like, well, hey, you know, okay. It seems dumb, uh, but, you know, maybe there's something about this fossil that I don't know. You know, these are personal things I've had laying around for a while. And I don't know, you know, uh, so I did that. And then I made a private listing. And when I make a private listing... Uh, that's geared towards just a person, so somebody doesn't come up and swipe it out from underneath them. I'll put uh, the item title and four, and then like the first two digits of their, la their uh, name that they have on eBay, and the last two digits, and put little stars in between. And then I'll e e email them with the item number and the title. So they can find it right away and buy it right away. Um, yeah. So when I did this, I got another message. They paid for it. I got another message saying, hey, you don't need to put my name in the title. I don't want people knowing who I am. Now, this raises all kinds of red flags to me. Uh I was really nervous about doing this. All the banter we had going back and forth. I've, I've never really been nervous about selling anything. I don't uh, worry about what could happen. I look forward to the good things that can happen. Okay? People worry too much about stuff. Uh, yeah, they didn't want their name public. And my response is, well, I know who you are. And I wrote out their name <laughs> so they understand that I know who they are and told them that when they get the package they will know who I am because my name is on the package because I created the label and then I let them know that every employee at eBay knows who they are so if they're worried about their privacy that they need to stop selling or they need to just stop buying online altogether And then I also asked what was so important about this 
one fossil compared to the others that they had to have this particular uh, one. And I'm still waiting on a reply. I'll probably never get one. Maybe there's something special about this one. Maybe this one's worth like a hundred bucks and they're going to sell it in their shop. There's, you know, I, I think fossils are cool, but I don't know them. I'm not a geologist or a hmm, fossilologist. <laughs> I forgot the name. It's kind of early. Yeah, it's about nine o'clock. Um, Going to head up to the post office and drop these five packages off and uh, head out to my mom's. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. That's it's it's the weirdest sale. You know, he's only got five feedback and he created his account like two months ago. That's something that's mm, to me. But look, everybody starts somewhere. I started with zero feedback. OK, so. You know, everybody starts sometime. Uh, so that doesn't bother me. I'll sell to somebody with zero feedback. That's not an issue with me. Uh, yeah. So I'm just kind of curious what you guys think about this. is just really strange. I really thought about calling eBay saying, hey, I want you guys to check into this buyer. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going forward with the sale. I'm not going to bug eBay with this silly little thing since the sale went through right away i got uh let's see i wanted twenty dollars for all four i told him i wasn't going to charge him twenty dollars i'm not greedy so uh yeah i got uh, 12 bucks for the item and i made a couple bucks on shipping so yeah yeah i did jack up the shipping on it so yep that's it Okay, well, I'm off to the post office, guys. Everybody be profitable. And ta-ta for now.